is how excited Eric gets to go antelope hunting. We slept in. It's Saturday. We missed Friday. We slept the whole day. We slept the whole day. It was worth it. It was. It was a good sleep. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was lied to and told that the car was the best bed. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not at all. But look at this. This morning is starting to turn into. And luckily, the cool thing about antelope hunting. When do you need to wake up? Never a clock. That's the best part. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Doesn't matter. They're out there all day. We'll find them. We'll kill them. We're getting them this morning, right? We'll pull out the weather. We... They're going down. Boom sticks are coming out, so they're going down. Now that we've got Eric up, this morning's going to be a lot more chipper. <laughs> we've got the uh, goldfish, apple, canola bar, and the hunter orange. You know what that means? Pulling out the rifle today. And uh, we've been down here looking at this buck. I'm trying to get a good idea of exactly what it is we're looking for. And this buck, to me, has it all. He's got great mass, good length, some curl, and really good diggers. Like, and they're heavy. He's got good color, too. And he's a little over 80 inches. I'm not so much looking for a high-scoring buck, but I really want one with good mass and a really pretty cape. The pretty cape part's probably the most important to me. So I'm pulling out the Weatherby today. Colby, who is filming, he is leaving this afternoon and I'd really like to get great uh, video for you guys. So I'm gonna try to get it done so we can make a cool video. So we're packing up and we're heading out. Before we get out um, hunting, I wanna shoot the Weatherby just to make sure everything's still on. Uh, it was pretty on when I shot that coyote yesterday. So we've got a gong out there at 400 yards. I'm gonna let it rip a couple times and see how I do get to where you can even if you got to creep up a little bit to see through the brush I would get where you're laying down prone on it Ready? Yep. you hit right where you were aiming yeah. got a bunch of antelope out here we found this this herd right here bedded it's got a good buck and a a bunch of uh, does right there on the phone scope getting some foot of, footage of them right there through the uh, vortex using the phone scope adapter pretty fun they're just bedded up there in the wide open that's what's fun about antelope hunting you don't necessarily need to come out here you know first light or evening like that like you would you know kind of hunting deer and elk we've already spotted i think 30 antelope just from this one glassing point all right guys, we found a good buck. He's 520 yards away. We uh, got the hunter orange on, everything's ready to go. Just gonna get a good look at him through the vortex scope. If he's a shooter, I'm gonna set up and try to shoot this guy right here, so here we go. Well, we're gonna try to make a stock on this buck. Big buck, he's all alone. We just gotta break the distance. Get over this next uh, sagebrush knoll, I might be able to see him again. All these guys at me. That thing is so far away now. <laughs> Holy cow. You think it'd be so easy to hunt these things, especially with the long range rifle, because it's wide open. But their defense is to their eyes, they see something, they feel danger, they run, they just leave. That buck is slowly moving up, uh, just on the other side of this little sagebrush rise, so if you can see that rise, it's right in front of us. If we get there, we're probably gonna be 500 yards. All right, we've got the uh, buck bedded at 280 yards. This tall brush is gonna make it tough. I might have to stand up to shoot him. 
but uh, we got the phone scope on him. Casey's getting some video up there with the iPhone. Kobe's gonna try to set up a tripod that I can shoot off. These shooting sticks, this bipod I have isn't tall enough. That buck is over there. Ready. Ready. Oh, he's down. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe he made it that far. Oh my gosh, guys, I just shot my first antelope. <laughs> Good, like 250 260 70 yards something like that it's hard to say because he was right in the brush but we put him down made sure that he, it was a quick ethical kill and i'm gonna have some antelope backstrap steak soon oh my gosh thanks guys thank you so much Dude, for uh, that was freaking awesome being with me eric <laughs> boom <laughs> <laughs> that was a standoff i'm still shaking <laughs> we got some phone scope was it on record yeah, yeah, we got it on the board. <laughs> I'm going to take a look at that, guys, but I want to say thanks to you guys, too, for uh, joining us on this little journey. We still have one more tag. we got to take care of that antelope and get it out of here, but there's still a lot of hunting to be done. <sighs> I'll tell you what, I'm still shaking. I've, I've never hunted antelope. I've never really had any interest to hunt antelope until I went with Casey and Brian last year, and those two introduced me into antelope hunting. Uh, so thank you guys too, Casey and Brian, thank you. Wish you guys were here. Hey guys, there he is, my 2016 buck antelope. Again, huge thanks to uh, Western Skies Outfitters, setting us up with some tags, mountain ops. Thanks for inviting me. Hey. Casey puts on a great hunts up here for mule deer, elk, and antelope. If you guys ever get a chance, check them out, Western Skies Outfitters. And uh, that was a blast. I mean, this animal is just gorgeous. These. I really feel like antelope are probably the prettiest animals that I've ever hunted for sure. Look at the detail. I love that he had a really dark face, good bases on the on the bottom of his horns. Check that out, he has uh, a big chunk of his ear is missing. But super happy with the way the hunt go went down, it was a quick ethical kill. We're going to prepare the meat now, take care of it, um, chop it up and we have the Yeti cooler. We're going to put this thing on ice as soon as we can. And that's the key to good antelope meat is taking care of it quick. When it comes to packing out an animal, I'm never one to ask for help. I don't mind doing hard work, but I just took the biggest spill. Stepped in a hole, went all the way down to right below my knee. Freaking tweaked my shin. Casey's doing the hard work. Look at this mountain man. <laughs> I'll pack yours out, you pack mine out. Good <laughs> deal, deal, dude. I'll be rested up by then. My leg. Oh, I'm not one to complain, but my leg's starting to cramp up. Thank 
Thank you, Casey. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I plan to show you guys a little bit of the cutting process. Uh, hopefully we can do that when we have more time on Casey's, but it's getting pretty hot. Thank goodness we brought this big Yeti cooler, chuck full of ice. Um, the entire antelope is quartered up with the back straps, um, all quarters, the tenderloins, and we caped it out for a mount. He's a beautiful buck, so I'm gonna mount him, but all that meat, we kept it really clean. We came to this spot right here by this little creek. Uh, so we can wash our hands and take care of everything but so glad we brought the yeti that thing is chuck full of antelope meat and i'm gonna be eating good this year guys real good oh yeah now she's heavy process when you got buddies to help you out. Thank you. Thanks Casey. Nugs. <laughs> you guys are awesome. Alright guys, that hunt uh, turned out to be a long day and I wanted to leave a lot of the details in there to show you guys um, some of the stuff we do. So because of that, I'm going to end this video right now. Casey's got a tag. Still, it's good. So we'll start off where we left off tomorrow. So if you've watched this video, um, tomorrow will be the next video where we hunt with just Casey and if you want to watch this series all the way through um, I put a put everything into a playlist so you can just go to the playlist on our channel find the Utah antelope hunt and you'll be able to watch it as it plays out day by day so for now we're gonna call this video good with my hunt because that was just a, a lot going on and thanks again for watching had a blast first antelope wouldn't change it for a thing that's everything I wanted in this hunt was a really cool stock and a really cool buck so thanks again don't forget to subscribe and catch tomorrow's video tomorrow